everyone. I just wanted to do a quick video um, letting you know that I'm going to be starting a new series. This is going to be the BB Cream demo and review series. So I have already filmed one which I did today and I'm wearing it today and that's the L'Oreal Magic Skin uh, beautifier BB cream and light so this one is already complete I have already um, done a demo well I did a demo but it wasn't recording but I did a review and I did a status update throughout the day um, and kind of showed you how it was wearing on my skin if I needed to touch up etc and then at the end of the day final review so this one I have already completed this is a drugstore um, the other ones I just thought I would show you that I'm going to be reviewing um, this is going to be a series so I'll probably do um, one a week, one or two a week. So um, it'll be kind of a longer series, but I think it'll be really um, great if you're interested in trying BB creams, especially since there's so many new drugstore ones coming out on the market, which I'll probably do. Those will be my first post are the new drugstore ones, and then I'll go to other ones. So um, the next one, um, these are two other drugstore ones I'm going to be reviewing. The Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Protector. This is also going to be one that I'm going to review. Um, I'm also going to be reviewing the L'Oreal Paris Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Sunscreen Youth Code BB Cream. Both of All three of these I had just picked up, so I'm going to be reviewing those. Then for higher end BB creams, uh, the Leo Ellie Triple The Solution BB Cream. I've used this for quite a while, so I will be doing a review on that. Also, the Super Blemish Balm BB Cream Triple Function with SPF 25. This is Skin 79. Um, I'm also going to do, this one's going to be a Hard on the Clinique BB Cream because the shade is in 01, which is actually too light for me. So what I might do is um, go to the Clinique, Clinique counter that we have here in town and get a darker shade. Um, so that way I can um, do a good review because this is going to be too light for me. Then I also have, this was the Empty Jart, uh, Dr. Jart BB cream that I got from Birchbox and Birchbox was very great to actually send me um, a new one when I contacted them which as you can see is full and it is twice the size. So um, I'm going to be doing the Dr. Jart Water Fuse BB cream. Also a review on the Dr. Jart Premium BB cream and I do have um, a sample of that as well from Sephora. And then I'm going to also do a review on the Dior BB cream that I have a sample on and the Smashbox BB cream. So those are all the BB creams that I own or samples that I own. So I hope you guys are excited as I am for um, this next series. I'm really looking forward to trying some of these other BB creams that are new to me um, or that I have samples of and kind of letting you know how they wore and what my thoughts are on them. So um, please thumbs up this video and comment below if this is a series you are interested in seeing because I would love to, of course, film this. Oh, actually, I have one more BB cream. I have one more BB cream. A wonderful subscriber um, sent me a care package, and she had actually got this BB cream, and it was too light for her, and um, she never used it. They just sent her this, and it's the Misha BB cream, and it's in number 23. So I will also be reviewing this BB cream as well. So if you've tried any of these BB creams, please let me know down below. And, and if there's any that you're um, especially excited or interested in hearing a review, please let me know down below as well. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!